time for What's the Buzz, everyone. And guess what it's all about? It is all about the ladies today. And today, joining me are Lauren Crocker, a member of the team at the Blaine Fowler Morning Show on 96.3 WDVD. We've got Marlon Williams, a technology strategist, and Mona Shan, a local mommy blogger. Hi. Thank you guys so much for being here. You know, there's yes, so you. much going on when it re regarding women and our appearance, how we're perceived, whether we're out on date night, when we're out running errands, right. out with girlfriends. There's a lot of appearance pressure. Where do you guys think that it comes from? Is it from us giving it to each other, men, society, patriarchy? <laughs> letter A. Oh, definitely letter A. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it always has been. I think women are their own harshest critics, yeah. and they're yeah. also yes. each other's harshest critics. None of us, by the way. No, no, right. no. We're all fabulous. <laughs> Not us. We all think we're fabulous. Right. Yeah. But I can tell you, like, my husband doesn't have a clue what I'm wearing most days or if I've done my yep. makeup or what my hair is. But right. they just notice you might look different. Right. Like, you look Nice right. what, I wonder what happened there. Yeah. Right. 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 <laughs> but the subtleties. Definitely is from us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we are so hard on ourselves. And hard to Definitely. each other. Yeah. Like you were yeah. saying, yeah. Right. it can be cruel. Yeah. yeah. And I think there's a lot of insecurities that women carry. Um, we often feel like we don't measure up. We're not thin enough. We're not pretty enough. All of that. And so we take it out on other women mm -hmm. by, unfortunately, bringing them down when we should be really working to lift each other up. It's really, it's really pretty sad. Until you get to a certain point in your life and you just don't care anymore. Right, right. <laughs> like, right. this is it. I'd like to be at that point. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, you'll get there. You'll get there. Like, this is it. <laughs> so what about the pressures of makeup? Now, I've heard everything from, you don't need to wear makeup on the weekends. Uh, why, you know, I saw one blog that was all about why women don't need to go to the store, to the store with a full face of makeup and contoured face. And I thought, well, go to the store with contour, full face, and makeup if that's what you want to do. Yeah. Why does it bother you so much, as right. in the author of the blog? So what do you guys think about the whole makeup pressure? I, I enjoy makeup, but I have to say, it, I work with two guys every morning. Again, they wouldn't notice if I came in with or without it. <laughs> right. I put it on when I feel that I need to, but I enjoy wearing it when I have it on. I think of it like any other accessory. You know, if you like jewelry, wear jewelry. Right. If you like makeup, wear, wear makeup. I do think it's great that some celebrities like Alicia Keys mm -hmm. and Cindy Crawford have done this whole no makeup um, movement. And I hope that it sends a message to younger girls that you don't have to wear the right. makeup. Again, if you like it, do it for you. If you feel like it enhances your beauty, right. yep. do it for you. Yep. But yep. do it for the right reasons. But I think that's I the thing. It's like people are telling us what we should or should not do. Right. If I like it, I'm going to wear it. Now, I have dark circles under my eyes, which I am not afraid to talk about. So I will not walk out of the house without some concealer on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's what, what you want. Thing. And right. that's what feel I want. Better. That's right. right. I feel better. I admit, I right. don't have a lot of skill with makeup. So, you know, yeah. when I try to put on a lot of makeup, but I look like look the good. victim of a bar bra. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably go without it. <laughs> it whatever you like. I mean, whatever there are even like. these rules that come out. Sometimes it's like, oh, if you're over age X, you right. shouldn't wear blue oh, sparkly okay. eyeshadow. And I'm well, like, who makes up you, these rules? I don't know. Who are these people? If you like blue sparkly <laughs> eyeshadow and you're 80 years old, rock your blue yeah, sparkly you eyeshadow. That's what right. I say. Glitter until I'm laying down. <laughs> Amen. I'm with you, sister. I'm with you. So now let's move on to body stigma, mm. right? So we've, we've made some progress when we've got models like Ashley Graham mm -hmm. and Kate Upton, full-figured women who are gorgeous and beautiful, gracing the covers of all kinds of fashion magazines, Sports Illustrated, even though I have my issues with that, but I'm just saying they're on there. <laughs> um, what do you guys think about body shaming in our culture? I think it's amazing that we have these women that you were just talking about. However, I think when you leave the pages of the magazine behind, you leave TV behind, I think the real woman who's out there every day is still feeling the pressure. You mm -hmm. see these women, they're gorgeous and they're, and they're big and they're proud. But you ever notice too, the women that are kind of big in the right places? Mm -hmm. Like what if my caps are swollen one day? Right, like right. is that acceptable right, now? Right, right, if right. I'm feeling a little bit in my stomach but not my booty, like is right. that okay? You know, right. like I feel, right. we still have a long way to go, I think. We I had too. a girlfriend who was really tiny and we would say to her, oh my God, you're so small. And she hated it. Yeah. And she finally one day she said, you know, I had to live with this being small. Mm. But for us, it was like, it was a privilege. It was like, you know, amazing. Mm -hmm. But she hated it. So I learned a lesson that day. Absolutely. You know, I was training. at the doctor a few weeks ago and he, uh, you know, my doctor was talking to me about a certain condition mm -hmm. that I have that affects small framed women. Mm -hmm. And I told a friend about that. And the first thing she said was, you know, most people would kill to have that problem. Yeah. Mm. And I didn't think anything of it at first, but now I find that actually pretty offensive right. because why is, why is my problem any less serious 
than someone else's just because of my size. Right. Um, it's it's not. Yeah. And you look at a TV show like This Is Us. You know, they were praised oh. so much for having mm -hmm. a large woman yes. on the show. Yes. The fact that that is such a big deal shows us how far we still have to go. It shouldn't be a big deal. Mm -hmm. Right. Very there true. she is. She's a great actress. She's playing a great character. And that should be <laughs> enough. And she's yeah. good at her job. And can right. we just also mention how this stuff changes all the time? Yes. yes. Because when I was a kid, it wasn't cool to have a big butt right. and big right. hips. Right. Now, all it of a sudden, now. exactly. I'd be like on the Stairmaster complaining <laughs> to my mother. <laughs> I, listen, <laughs> can we be honest with each other? And I mean, real. And the butt injections. And That's now the people thing. get butt inje get illegal get butt, butt injections and put their lives at risk. So, because I'm beautiful. <laughs> you know, I have a seven-year-old daughter, and everybody tells her all the time, "You're so pretty, you're so pretty." And I have to kind of hold my hold myself back. Yes, I think she's beautiful, but I tell her every single morning and every night, "You are strong, you are smart, you are brave, and you are kind." And that's what I want her to remember. And I I hope that we can kind of shift that conversation, starting with the next generation. Yeah, I think that that's what we all want to do. Now, there's another place where there's a lot of judgment of women taking place, and it's in what we wear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Is it too tight? Is it too short? Why does she have that on? Mm -hmm. Is she crazy? What was she thinking this morning? There's a <laughs> lot of that that goes on Our out there. Our leggings pants. Our leggings oh, yeah. pants. <laughs> Certain people shouldn't have yoga pants on. We've had that conversation with a couple of men in here before. They are not all created equal. No. Yoga pants are not all created equal. This is true. Equal, no. For sure. When we talk about quality, that's true. <laughs> that's a different story. That's, that's a different story. Because yes. some of them you can straight up see through but what right. do you guys think about that age appropriate too tight too short too long I think like the makeup it depends on what makes you feel yes. good mm -hmm. and I think we can all look at somebody else I love looking at other women it looks like I'm checking them out maybe I am but I also <laughs> love to see like I could never get away with those jeans you can you look amazing go for it you know right. and and I think whatever makes you feel good when you step out of the house in the morning appropriate for work of course, right. you're where you're setting. You're going. Yeah. yeah. You know, I have a teenage daughter. You know, she's a senior in high school. It is interesting when she talks about what she's wearing or what other people are wearing. And so I am very cognizant in my house. I wear what I want to wear. Mm -hmm. You know, I can wear a jogging suit. Yesterday I had a jogging suit with gym shoes that look like a teenager. Mm -hmm. Today I can dress up. So whatever I want to do, and I want to show her that. It's like whatever you feel like and you feel good in it, mm -hmm. you know, if it's too tight and you have to pull it up, then you probably are not going to be comfortable. Right. But as long as you feel good in it, then rock it. I have less of an issue with it, like the tight and revealing clothing, and more of the fact that we just feel like it feels like we've gotten so sloppy as a society. Mm. Like, what do people get dressed up for anymore? You go out to a restaurant, and people are in sweats and True. like or a nice dress. Even, or yeah. Even yeah. yeah. like church. Store. We yeah. grew up in church. We had to dress up, but now we don't. But I'm okay with that. I wish there I were still casual. some things like that people casual. found special enough. To, to get, get dressed, dressed up for, for. I w you know, it kind of feels like we're losing that. It's like to the pajamification of our society. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, but to that point, you're making it easier to dress and be comfortable. You can get the cute sneakers nowadays. Oh yeah, right. true. Yes. That are, look nice, but you don't always have to be in eight-inch heels when you go right, out, right. or you know, yeah. dress pants that actually are yoga <laughs> pants. Right, right. Got, like, exactly. Button on there you go. <laughs> so we're working on it. We're getting there. We're getting there. So we're running out of times, but there's one thing I really want us to talk about, and that's tattoos. Mm. Are women judged more harshly for having? very visible, bright, bold tattoos. I think they are, for yeah. sure. Um, I think we're getting, um, you know, another generational shift. Maybe when I was growing up, the only women I knew who had tattoos were probably biker chicks. Right. And it, it like, maybe wasn't the most feminine um, <laughs> thing to have, but I think that's changing. I think yeah. I know more people with tattoos than, yes. you know, without. I have yeah. four. And okay. sometimes when I tell people that, you get that raised Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you know, working in media, they're like, can they all be hidden? Can you get makeup? And it's right. like, well, I can, but if I want to show them, <laughs> I will. I have, to? Them. Yeah. I have two. Okay. And I remember when I received my first one, my mother told me, you are not going to enter the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> I remember. She was like, I'm like, well, I might go ahead and get another one. <laughs> that was a theme back then. That's a good one. <laughs> that, no, the, the, the culture is really changing so. and shifting. They're I mean, gorgeous. yeah, 10, 20 years from now, the conversation will be totally and completely. It, yeah, I think definitely. it'll be a non-issue, but I think we're just in the middle of that now. Right. Yeah. So. Marlon, Lauren, Mona, thank you so much <laughs> you. for being. This is so fun. All that girl chat. <laughs> Chuck, over to you.